everyone, welcome to another video from myself, Alex Purvey. I am at Brown and Green in Trenton, joined with the lovely Nicola. Hi. You all right? Yeah. Are you nervous? A little bit. <laughs> so, Nicola here is Cheese Monger of the Year 2018. Yeah. This girl knows the cheeses. So I thought, why don't I put you to the test? Oh dear. Right. <laughs> We're going to blindfold Nicola. And I've got five cheeses just here and we're going to wrap them in an oat cake. She's going to eat them, and she's going to tell me, I've got them written down here, she's going to tell me what cheese it is. Hopefully. Hopefully yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, cheese monger of the year and that, you know, should, should know the cheeses. Are you ready? No. Here we go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. is, it just, is it just last year you were cheese monger of the year? Yeah, so it, I mean, it goes up until May this year. And then it expires. Yeah, then someone else will uh, take the crown, unfortunately. All right. Not not having two years in a row? There's a different spot to this year, so things... Change. Because it's only the... I won it on the third year running. Right. So because it's only its fourth year that we're going into, they like everybody else yeah. to sort of experience it. And so, so you go, like, all over the country? Yeah, so the competition go. itself happens at the British Cheese Wars, the Back and West show. Uh, so I was fortunate enough to judge with them last yeah. year at the British Cheese Awards um, and I'm there judging again this year. So. And you did the Nantwich Cheese Show? Yeah, so I did the Internationals last year which was in Nantwich. Yeah. I did the Globals last year which is in Somerset and I also did the World Cheese Awards last year which was in Norway. Which was very exciting. <laughs> Nicholas job's on the line here by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well I've been put out of judging that's for sure. Yes. Right, okay. We've got a got a, I said to Nicola bring a blindfold. She's brought me a duvet. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Don't At least you... I can't see through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, that, that is we can't see anything through that. Don't put it on the Yeah. Watch me makeup. I'm watching. Can't because you can't see because I can't see. Right, what I'll do, Nicola. I'm going to put the cheese up to my face. No, 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 I'll put it in your hand, right, and then you can put it in your mouth. <laughs> You're not just going to feed I, me. I don't, I don't want to lose any fingers. <laughs> She's got shock teeth. You do bite, don't you? Well. Is that right? Yeah. Right, if I spin you around five times. Oh, no, God. You. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Right, okay, you, you stand there, right? Stand there. Okay. Uh, out of pen. Out of pen, sorry. Don't worry about me. Where is your pen? Where is your pen? I don't know. Is it over on the silver table? Because there's a laptop and I've moved everything over there. Red Sharpie. Ah, got it. Got it? I've got it. Hiding my props already. Ah. They're the cheeses, by the way. I won't read them out, for obvious reasons. Ah. <laughs> so, right. So what I'm going to do is, you're going to tell me the answer. I'm going to write it down, and then at the end, I'll we'll remove a blindfold, and you can tell me what it is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right. Cheese number one. All in, all in, all in. No, it's got to be I all in. It. It's got to be all in in one go. Yeah. Nicola, I want the full name of Colston the... Colston Bassett Stilton. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Keep it. I can't eat the rest of that. What do you mean you can't eat the rest of that? Because I know what I've got coming. And well, I can't have a strong cheese followed by a weak cheese. I think you might hey, put hey, these listen, in the wrong this, order. This, 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 uh, this, you might this, put these in the wrong order. Is this how you cheese taste? Yeah, you can't do a blue first. So. Right, hang on, yeah, so, I'll, I'll, I'll have that, right, okay. So, so put that one over there. Right, come on, Nicola, all in. All in one. I'm not all in it. All in one, come on. It's a very nicely neat cut piece. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. I've still got blue in my mouth. Do you need time to 
to evaluate your taste buds. One of two. Kefilly. Is that your final yeah. answer? Kefilly. 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 Take that off. There you go. It's not my final answer. Can I change it? Right, right, okay. <laughs> Four's Wednesday Dale. Say again. Four's Wednesday Dale. Four's. 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 H A W E S. H. I'll spell that. H A W E S. Pause when for now. It's the aftertaste where it comes through. But I shouldn't have short, shouldn't have started with that blue. That's what's thrown me. Right, okay, so we're gonna go for number three, yeah? Mm-hmm. How are you going on with the oat cake? Is the oat cake throwing you off? It is a little bit, to be honest. Is it sort of like messing with your taste buds? It is, because yeah. usually, especially when I have oat cakes, I'll have, I tend to stick with the cheddar on the oat cakes. And I usually have them all, and the cheese is warmed as well. Yeah. So, number three. There you go. Oh, that's tiny. There's, there's not even any cheese in that. Are you sure? It's one of two though. It's either Baron Breed, Baron Bygone or Breed and Bow. They're both very, very, very similar cheeses. Um, Breed and Bow. Is that your final Breed answer? Breed and Bow. I spell that. Bree. Yeah. D E. Yeah. M E A U X. Them out. Okay. I'll we'll just take that off. The yeah, okay, it's throwing me with that. It's the texture with some of them. Yeah. Like that one, it's definitely the texture. No, but I think you're doing all right. You're not too bad. Number four. Oh dear. Don't like the way you're saying this. Number four. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Have we got an answer? Wookie hole. You're saying Wookie hole. Mm -hmm. Do you like to spell that for me? W. W double O. Yeah. K E Y. Yeah. And hole. It's a cheddar that's made in um, Dorset and then it trans they transport it to the caves in Somerset. Do they? Where it matures for around 12 months. Uh, I only, if that is the winky, yeah. I only got that open yesterday actually. It's very exciting. Number five. Last one. Yeah, last one, yeah. There we go. Oh, oh. I must say you've left the rind on it. Well, I didn't. I didn't cut the cheese. Spark and hoe red Leicester. Spark and hoe red Leicester. Spark and hoe red Leicester. How would you like to spell that? It's not, we're not, we're not judging we're not, on spelling. We're not judging, yeah, spelling. We're not judging on spelling, but you know, I just want to make sure. S T. Yeah, it's the same as what I've got. A R. S S P A R. K E N. K E N. H O E. H O E. It's a beautiful red last to that one. Is that it? Is it doesn't bode too well on an oat cake though. Doesn't it? Is yeah. that is that what it's called, the spark and hoe? Yeah, they make really nice blue as well, actually. Yeah. They're blues to die for. So, Nicola. Yeah. Cheesemonger of the year. 
2000 and what, 1988? 1898. 1898. Like that. that it, the face is ruined. <laughs> no, 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 no,